guys, Yay. welcome to Whistler day one. Yay. So we're up ready, had a little light in this morning. And both our bums are hurting after <laughs> sitting in the car for so long yesterday. Yeah, we need to be walking all day today, I feel yeah. like. So we're just walking now to go and get some breakfast. Um, we're gonna do a spa, but it's a lot of money. Yeah, it's a lot of money for not a lot in yeah. return, really, so we're not gonna bother. And we feel like that's the sort of thing you can do at home more. Yeah. So we want to see more Whistler, I think. Yeah, so we're gonna do the peak to peak today, hopefully. We've literally just come out of our hotel and it's a two minute walk and yeah. you're by the shops. Yeah. So if any of you stay in Whistler, Ava is the one. Yeah, it's very, very close to everything, which is great. So good. So yeah, we're now just heading up to Starbucks, I think, to grab a quick breakfast and then see where the day takes day. us. So the outfit of today is uh, white sandals, this off the shoulder kind of denim dress. I think it's from H&M. Um, tassel earrings that I got in the little bakery yesterday and my new look brown bag. So we're in Starbies at the moment for breakfast, sitting outside. Oh, Jeez. dumper truck. We've got two strawberry assays. Dan's got his ham. Bacon, uh, egg, and cheese. Bacon, egg, and egg. <laughs> and then I got some fruit and some granola and yogurt. Yum, yeah. So this is the line at, I think it's about 11 o'clock in the morning. So it's queuing up peak to peak gondola and um, we're not sure if we get to go straight up or if you get a time and you've got to come back so we'll find out and it's a place to be if you're a mountain biker I think there's some sort of um, festival on from the 11 um, for mountain bikers and stuff so I think that's why it's like extra busy but there's signs everywhere saying like walk your bikes so um, I think the majority of people here are actually mountain bikers at the moment. Hey, us again. Outfit change and hair change and outfit change. It's like 30 degrees out there already. So hot. And we've got our peak to peak tickets and it looked a bit more full on so I was like, I can't go up in a dress. So um, we've come back and got changed. More attire. Yeah. Um, and yeah, we're So we've ridden the first gondola, which is yeah. amazing, and we're so, so high. high already, but we've got to get another one, so we have a peak. So we th wow. think we come back here after peak to peak, just eventually we want to get all that done, and then we'll come back, because we had lunch quite late, so we should be all right food-wise. Yep. Um, and then come back, we've got ice cream, we've got loads of stuff here, yeah. loads of stuff to do. I'm so excited, the peak to peak looks insane, so. Just hanging over the bike, the canyon. Yeah.
that I've been wanting hiking poles for ages. And look, they're complimentary ones. So he's got a hiking pole. Yeah. Definitely not going for a hike today, <laughs> but it's good that they give them to you. It's amazing. Look at that. That's the view of a helicopter. So we're in a glass block, bot glass block, glass bottom, glass bottom gondola, which was really cool. Um, and now we're trying to find how we get to the suspension bridge. So this is at the top of Peak to Peak. It's amazing. Such a pretty view. So the suspension bridge is back where we were. <laughs> so we're going to take some photos and stuff. Look at this amazing view, and then we've got to go back down to the bridge. So we've got lunch, well, we'd say lunch, a snack with a view. They only do like massive meals here, like burgers and um, like noodle bowls and stuff, like no sandwiches, so we're not that hungry. So we've just gone for like a snack. I've gone for a cherry and yogurt Danish, and Dan's gone for a chocolate twist. We're gonna sit back and enjoy the view. We had lunch, that Danish was really nice, like really, really fresh. Um, so now we're gonna fill up water bottles and we've got to get another chairlift up to the suspension bridge and then we'll cross. I don't know if we told you, but we can't transfer any of our files. Dan's high drive isn't working. So Jem was really kind, Jem and Steve, and they've given us a memory card to use. So this one's about to run out. So we've got one memory card left for the rest of the trip. Here we go. We're going up there. <laughs> Here it is. So we have to get a chairlift. I can't see because of the sun yeah. up there. <laughs> That's directly in the sun. Yeah. Here we go. Ah, oh, pretty. Next lift. Not enclosed though. No. <laughs> oh, I think we've got some lens for that. We're joking. Look. There it is. That's what we're going to walk across. That's how high we are. It's like 30 degrees today, so it's quite nice. It doesn't feel like that up here though. No, it doesn't. <coughs> okay. How are you feeling? Okay. How are you feeling? I'm feeling a bit nervous, but I think once I'm on it, I'll be okay. Yeah, it looks quite solid. Let's go. Well, I hope it is. really wobbly. Thank you. 
How was that? I was a bit wobbly at first, but I did it. You did it. You can look back, that's yeah. and you can see it wobbling. Yeah, that was pretty crazy. <laughs> that was crazy. We're going over here? Yeah. That's where we are. Now we're on this one, which you just walk out to to get the view. This view. <laughs> Climbing, got some shots. Insert them now. I'll insert them now. But ah uh, man, you just can't describe how this looks. It's incredible. Right, and down we go. We just had an amazing, amazing time, didn't we? Uh, crazy, wasn't it? The suspension bridge, the just climbing on the rocks, yeah. seeing the view. The view is incredible. It's just so many mountains with snow on, yeah. which is different to um, the Rockies because there was some, but not many with snow. No. And here it just seems like loads of them have snow on. Yeah. So we absolutely love that. We definitely recommend it. Um, as we said, it's like really new, isn't it? Yeah, it only opened this summer, the suspension bridge. So and it was quiet. Really, yeah, it's really quiet up there actually. It's a lot less busy like than the, like, the station bit down below. So. Yeah. So yeah. definitely recommend it. <gasps> was it worth an ask? Yeah, it was worth an ask, yeah. It was it is it that one? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so I was like, um, Dan, just go and ask them, see if they've got your lens cap. And he was like, oh no. And then uh, they went up it and then he was like, they've got we've well, got loads of lens caps, so I'll bring them over to you and pick one, pick which one you want. <laughs> and, and then it, I think it's actually my one as well, because it's the same brand as lens. So. That's amazing. <laughs> That's Yay. good. And he was 100 feet away from us. Wow. He's just scooping him up. Oh, yeah. Just he put him, he eat the head yeah. off and eat some belly out and throw it away yeah. and grab the next one. On the TV, yeah. Yeah, he really, just I ignored him. The other way oh, yeah. Oh, and he was, he was busy. a bit away. Oh, wow. Oh. Yeah, but I think hardly even with their full look. That's amazing. Just, they just waste a lot of fish. Yes, gooey mooey ice cream and a peanut butter cone. How is it? Mm, so good. <laughs> So we're back at the room now. Uh, we went and had a little swim and a little hot tub time uh, just after the um, ice cream shop. So yeah, we just came back and went in there. The tram down from, or the gondola I should say, down from the mountain was hilarious because there was, how many groups of people were, did you say there was in there? Three? There was the yeah. Irish couple, yeah. there was an American couple next to us and a dad and his son um, in there as well and this uh, American or Canadian couple instantly were like where's everyone from so everyone we started talking um, and then they were all sort of talking about like bears and where they're seeing bears and then the Canadian guy was like oh I caught a fish here and then the Irish guy was like oh I caught one as well and got his phone out and showed his fish so they were all comparing fish, and then I was like, well, I did catch a shark. Yeah. As a joke. And they did you reach for chocolate? Oh, no, they handed out, like, <laughs> the couple next to us just got out a bag of chocolates and just said, oh, would anyone like one? So we all had chocolates on the way down, which was really odd. <laughs> it was like the best god ever. It was ever. amazing, wasn't it? They it was so, so funny. They were so lovely. They were like, oh, where are you from? And because the other Irish people were there, they were like, oh, are you against each other because of Brexit? We were like, no. Yeah, so, oh, I want to know who I had to put my bets on if you guys had a we fight. It's just you. like, just like <laughs> come on, guys, it's not that serious. Yeah, we were like, we're not going to fight over anything. No. But they had really cool pictures of bears, like in trees. 
trees yeah like right next to them as well it's mental it right? was amazing to see like they showed us one catching a salmon yeah in the river and then they were climbing in trees so yeah. it was cool it was lovely to talk to yeah them. and we were saying like how friendly everyone is yeah. like every time you are in like a confined space with someone but like, hey how are you what's your name yeah they just instantly start talking because i'm it's a way bit up. like america in that sense yeah I'm way up at some from Toronto, I think. Yeah, they were from Toronto, yeah, they just started Andy. talking to us. They did ask if we were on our home move. <laughs> yeah, on the way down, they were like, because I said, oh, we ju we just driven from Jasper. And then they were like, oh, really? That's great. And then I said, oh, we did a helicopter ride. And they were like, oh, are you guys on your honeymoon? And we were like, no, just vacation with friends. <laughs> So, so yeah. yeah, it does sound like that though, the amount of stuff that we've done, it sounds like we're on like a trip of a lifetime. <laughs> yeah, so, it feels like it Yeah, too, it does feel like amazing. it. Yeah. So yeah, we're just having a little drink in the room. Ching ching. <laughs> um, and getting ready to go out. Go out for some dinner, yeah. yeah. So my evening outfit, I've got wedge heels from Munich, and then the skirts from H&M, like a khaki green, and then a little crop top from Miss Selfridge and earrings from New Look and bag from New Look. Just stopped for some drinks. That's our view. Oh, it's like outside, which is cute. That's the menu. Always has the most manly drinks. <laughs> This one's called Your Crazy X, and this one is still another bleep. That's fresh. And then you've got drinks, some this little cute swingy thing. Twisted Raspberry Lemonade. So we both went for mac and cheese with bacon and garlic bread. Looks insane. A dinner walk, you've got a Whistler Olympic Plaza, the Olympic rings. You can see them. They light up at night with the mountains in the background. And then we think this is where the torch was. But correct us if we're wrong. So, how was your dinner? Yeah, very nice. It was amazing, wasn't it? Yeah, it was really good. We very had, hot. Yeah, I couldn't finish all mine, but we had mac and cheese and bacon and garlic bread. Yeah. So good. Really oh, good. Very good. Before that, we went to an Amsterdam bar, which was yep. fun as well. Yeah, it was nice. So, now we're just having a leisurely stroll around the village. Yeah. So, another amazing day. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Yep. And we'll see you. We'll see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Night. Bye.